Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Faraz here with us who recently got into Sabre as an intern and a full-time employee through his campus placements at VIT. Before we talk to him, let's just look at the eligibility criteria. So all students from the computer science branches and the circuit branches with a CGP of 6 or 60% above in 10th and 12th and a 70% or a 7 CGP above in the pursuing degree with no standing arrears were eligible. So now let's go ahead and talk to Faraz. Hi Faraz, uh, welcome to my channel and firstly congratulations on your placement. Thank you Jishnu, hello, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm great as well. Okay, so uh, can you introduce yourself first? So, hello everyone, my name is Faraz Subhir. I am currently pursuing my B.Tech in Computer Science from Velour Institute of Technology, Chennai campus with a current CGP of 8.96 and I've got an offer, uh, I've got an internship come full-time offer from Sabre. So, okay. Yeah, okay, thank you. Uh, you can now tell us about your uh, interview process, like how many rounds are there and what they comprised of. Alright, so Sabre visited our campus on 28th July. Okay. And I don't know how many applicants were there, hmm. but the initial screening round was, uh, after the initial screening round, there were around 400 shortlisted students. Okay. Uh, the screening was done based on resume and CGPA. Okay. So, these 400 uh, students had to appear for the online assessment, that's the round one. Okay. We had around 20 MCQs for aptitude. Okay. Uh, and 25 MCQs were there for technical. Okay. And each of these MCQs had one, two, or three as the marks, okay. and there were negative marking as well. Okay. So that was equivalent to the questions marks. So suppose it was oh, a okay. plus one hmm. uh, for correct, and it's a minus one if it's wrong. Mm -hmm. So uh, there were two coding problems as well with hmm. ten marks each. Okay. So the first question was simple. It was a simple array rotation. Hmm. The second one was a very hard one, I would say, and okay. I'm not sure if many people, I, I'm not sure if anyone would have solved it. Okay. Because the time cut was only 40 minutes for that particular coding round. Okay. There were sectional time news as well. Okay. So we had 40 minutes for the coding round hmm. and I guess it, uh, I'll give you the question as well. So hmm. it was kind of similar to the longest increasing subsequence. Okay. But the modification was we had to choose alternate elements from two arrays. Okay. So that was the difficult part. It was difficult to optimize in a small mm. time constraint. Mm -hmm. okay. so what I did was I brute forced the approach mm. and I was able to have two test cases which got passed. Okay. So whenever you are approaching such kind of difficult questions, at least get the brute force mm -hmm. approach right. Mm. So that way it makes a differentiating factor. Right. Okay. So we had 100 minutes. Mm. The platform that we used uh, was higher pro okay and i guess within one or two hours by the midnight we got the result okay, okay. so 27 students were shortlisted out of the 400 up, uh, short uh, shortlist for the online assessment okay so next we had the round two hmm. that was the technical interview which was conducted the following day okay they wind up the process entirely in a single day or two hmm. so the platform that we used was teams okay and I remember I, uh, the person conducting the interview was the team lead. Okay. So, uh, the interviews are very uh, helpful. They help you out throughout mm. the process. And uh, it was my first interview experience, so I was pretty nervous. Mm. But he helped me out and he was very chilled out. So, mm. he just asked me the, a few questions like, tell me something about yourself mm. that's not there in your resume. Okay. So, that was not something I was expecting because... Everything about me was already there in my resume, right? Okay, so yeah. He asked me uh, this question, so you just have to tell something that's mm. not technical, mm -hmm -hmm. right? Then he asked me which topic am I very familiar with, mm. Oops, DBMS, OS. I chose DBMS, so he asked me a few questions on that. Mm. And he also asked me a few questions on Oops. Mm. He asked okay. me if I'm familiar with that. So okay. we're very comfortable with the topics that you are familiar with. Mm -hmm. Next, uh, I asked few other people before, so uh, also that it was there in the interview experiences mm. that they mostly asked you to optimize the code that you wrote in the coding round. Okay. Mm. So I was kind of prepared with that, but then he didn't ask me that question. Okay. okay. Maybe because I was the third person on the uh, for mm. the interview, mm. so 
here and have time for that hmm. next we had the live coding hmm. now he gave me a question i'll give you the question as well so it was a very uh, straightforward question of path tracking okay. where uh, it was similar to the rat maze problem hmm. but we had uh, uh, gunmans as obstacles okay. so you had uh, the gunmans they keep shooting at a particular frequency so you have to avoid that hmm. and reach the end of the grid okay so the question was not very difficult you just have to understand that it's back tracking and you have to explain the approach mm. Mm. main thing what he was looking for was uh, the approach the algorithm that i used and whether or not i was handling the edge cases mm. so due to the time constraint he asked me to hard code the uh, question hard code the sample test case that he gave mm. and he then asked me to run it uh, okay. because he was pretty clear with the algorithm approach and he understood it mm. well Hmm. All right. Hmm. So after that round, I was pretty confident I'll be shortlisted for the next round as well because hmm. it, the interview went very smooth. Hmm. 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 Uh, next was the managerial round. Hmm. So it was conducted by a senior member of Cyber. Uh, hmm. I don't remember exactly, hmm. but uh, he was very uh, helpful hmm. and he even uh, he was. With uh he started by asking me an introduction hmm. about hmm. myself hmm. and he this particular round mainly focused on the projects internship hmm. that you do hmm. so he told me to pick any one project and he gave me a few uh, topics like the problem statement technologies hmm. features hmm. challenges and solutions hmm. so he gave me a list he told me to explain everything about the project hmm. now either you can explain but what i did was i showed him a video that i recorded hmm. for the hackathon hmm. so it had a demo of the project so hmm. just be careful you need to either post it or you know just show him features hmm. via online version or the local version hmm. you just need to show him that it's a working website hmm. and uh, he asked me for few questions about the security aspect Hmm. So they will ask you questions about the project, which hmm. are not very technical hmm. in nature. But he asked me how I am handling the security because it was a healthcare issue. Hmm. So he was like, "You should handle security well." Hmm. So hmm. it was like a normal conversation. Okay. Next, he moved on to a situation-based question. He gave me a bus reservation system situation. Okay. And he asked me to draw an ER diagram for that. Hmm. He didn't specify ER diagram. He just wanted me to explain. So I just explained why ER diagram. I explained the uh, attribute that I'll have, and after that, he gave me ten minutes time. Hmm. He was he went away. He was like, "You take ten minutes. You uh, explain it to me later." Okay. And then he asked me SQL queries on the same, and he discussed. few problems with my implementation hmm. and he asked me to optimize he gave a problem he was like you tell me how you can handle this situation hmm. so i optimized it and we winded this up uh, with this so it was i guess a 30 minute okay. interview okay and after that i got a call from the hr uh, regarding the hr interview hmm. so the last round isn't very tough it's uh, like you Uh, when you cleared all these three rounds hmm. and you've reached the HR interview, you are almost selected. Hmm. They just want to see whether uh, you're actually right for the company. You're hmm. a competent person hmm. if you've cleared all these rounds. Hmm. They just want to see whether you're right for their organization. Hmm. So it's like a very normal conversation. Hmm. You won't be nervous at all. It's like a very uh, easy going conversation they hmm. ask you about your uh, hmm. internship uh, for me uh, she asked me about the internship experience hmm. and she asked me the kind of work i did and whether or not i was given a stipend and how much hmm. and then we had a few uh, discussion about uh, my college hmm. why i came from delhi to chennai hmm. and it was a very uh, simple conversation hmm. so hmm. it just lasted around 15 minutes hmm. and after that i got the selection mail the next day hmm. that i got selected okay so that was the interview process okay that's great uh, thank you and do you have any suggestions or tips for people who want to get into good companies yes i have a lot of suggestions because i contacted a lot of seniors including jishnu hmm. as well i uh, asked a lot of things so from what i gathered from most of the people was hmm. you have to do a lot of Uh, practice for the online assessment. I'll go round by round for mm. the online assessment. That is the main screening round. The mm. next interview rounds are very easy. 
main thing is clearing the online assessment where they screen out around thousands of candidates mm-hmm. so you have to be very good with coding mm. uh, in order to clear these rounds because mm. anything and everything can come in the online assessment mm-hmm. so you have to at least practice lead code for one or two months i would say mm. and by practicing i don't mean you need to focus on particular topics you just have to pick a particular sheet or something some one who's posted it all uh, mm-hmm. review has a lot of a wide variety of questions mm. right and you don't have to solve a lot of questions main thing is even if you take one or two questions and you are able to grasp the concept that's great you need to focus on the lead code discussions mm. right? so just uh, spend more time on medium level questions because those are the ones that get asked mm. mostly mm. and for the interview i would say have at least one project or internship in your interview because that is your speaking point hmm. in, uh, they don't check your resume much what matters is you have to have something to talk about right mm-hmm. and that should be done by you only mm-hmm. not something that's copied yeah because it's a very friendly conversation just be confident in the interviews and main thing is when you're doing live coding you need to speak hmm. speak your approach you need to explain because the interviewer might lose you hmm. i because you need to keep explaining you need to handle the constraints the mm. edge cases you have to ask questions mm. and lastly if you're there in your prep uh, if you're still preparing mm. just make your resume and fill the gaps mm. backtrack and fill the gaps wherever you're lacking so just be thorough with your dpms os concept mm. gfg go through gfg experiences before the interview and keep in touch with seniors mm. like jishnu who would there to help you mm. always mm. So, yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and the suggestions. And yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for having me.